Mr. Puppy, Come on. look at this cool square we're in. This is neat. In the middle of the desert, we are a stone's throw from Mexico. This is just gorgeous. We are in Ajo. Nothing is better than a floral disinfected surface. Am I wrong? That's grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> it's grapefruit. Whatever. <laughs> it's <You're>... clean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice and clean. Cakes. You're very welcome. And eggs. And eggs. And with... thank you, Ranchero's Market, for the avocado salsa. Yes. It's so yummy. Well, this is a Sunday, a relaxed Sunday. We've mm -hmm. got nowhere to be. We don't have anything to do. At least it's not on our like agenda agenda. Yeah. And Finnegan's milking it. It's probably 11 now. <laughs> He's still asleep. <laughs> It's late February 2022, and Shannon and I are in southern Arizona near the town of Ajo, spelled A J O. We set up base camp in a really popular boondocking area on BLM land right outside of town. There's already a lot of vans, trailers, and RVs in this boondocking area, but it hasn't been a problem. We were able to easily find an out of the way site to call our own. It's a great place to call home for the week because it's just a stone's throw from town and there's plenty of cell service for Shannon to do her work. Oh, we are above the arch.
This is the Arch Canyon hike in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. What an amazing feature. This arch is extremely impressive when you get up close. The hike itself is 1.5 miles from the parking area and it's mostly up and very sketchy most of the way. A lot of vertical scrambling, a lot of loose terrain, but the payoff is worth it. I'm on my way back to base camp. Earlier today, I wasn't sure if I was going to spend the night in the field or if I was going to come home and spend the night in the van. Since it's so windy tonight, instead of wrestling with a ground tent, our Winnebago Rebel is just a few miles down the road. Not to mention, after that hike, a delicious dinner and a comfortable bed sound pretty good. Mm. Look what you oh, came home in time cool, for. Cool. What, would, what is it? It is some kind of a... Uh, um, excuse me. It's some kind of a sausage, um, leftover chopped salad stew that I made and decided to drop in these uh, tortellini, see how it goes. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, Thank it you. should be good. This is <laughs> far better than any backpacking meal that I might have had. Yeah. We need to um, broaden your horizons. This thing's cost like 12 bucks per. I know, I know, but I don't have them every night. <laughs> Cheesy surprise in the middle. Is that ricotta? Um, no. It's cottage cheese. So what was the highlight of your day? Coming home to you. Ah, I meant to say not that. <laughs> 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 Before you came home. <laughs> um, I went on a hike mm. in Jealous. Oregon Pipe. I took pictures. I'll show you pictures after dinner. Thank you. Hopping is bad. If your four-wheel drive vehicle can't find traction, often because of open differentials and it starts to hop, you do not want to persist. You want to stop immediately and readjust your line. If you allow the vehicle to hop, you will very likely break the weak link in your drivetrain, whatever that might be. More often than not, there is a better line where all four tires are firmly planted and you're able to find good traction without hopping. All it takes is a minuscule adjustment to where you're steering. This is by far one of my favorite parts of the Sonoran Desert outside of Ajo, Arizona. 
It's so unexpectedly green and teeming with life. It's beautiful and a phenomenal place to explore. There is a surprising number of boondockers in this area though, and I imagine this is especially true during the winter months. As you can see, it's February and I'm in a t-shirt, it's wonderful. There's a lot of open space though, so you'll have no trouble finding a spot of your own, like this one, especially if you have high clearance four-wheel drive. I very seriously think that this is the best spade shovel you can get for your overland vehicle. This is actually our third shovel like this. I've got one in every vehicle. And a friend gifted me one of these, Matt Pfeiffer, years ago when I first set off on my adventure. No moving parts, very sturdy and compact, and fits nicely inside your vehicle, not exposed to the elements. I'll put a link to this in the description for this video. Well, the wind is lame, and as you can see, I'm doing the ground tent tonight. Before I left the van this morning, Shannon was like, you want steak tonight? And I was like, yeah, but I might stay out in the field tonight. I don't know why I opted to endure the wind and a backpacking meal in favor of going back to the van. Adventure, I guess. In addition to the winds tonight, I checked the weather forecast and there's a decent chance of rain tomorrow morning. So I think I'm going to break down the tent and get out of here pretty early. In fact, I'll probably go straight into Ajo for coffee. There's a really nice coffee shop in the Ajo Plaza called Oasis Coffee. It's a really nice cafe that occupies what I think used to be an old theater. But the atmosphere is superb and the coffee is really good. I'm a little bit embarrassed to go back though, because a few days ago I went and I got a mocha. I set the mocha on the edge of the counter and I wasn't paying attention and it just bombed on the floor, right under their point of sale. The floor, the side of the counter looked like a biohazard. They were very kind about it and they gave me a new drink and they did not need to do that. So if you go, tell the barista that you heard about the place from the guy who's a walking disaster and spilled his mocha everywhere.
last night's tenting experience didn't go well at all. The campsite was lovely enough, but the wind was up all night and I didn't feel well. Shortly after I talked to you when I was in the tent, I got the sweats and a pounding headache and the wind was unrelenting all night so I couldn't sleep. It was just a really bad night. I ended up breaking camp at 5.30 a.m. and I made my way back to base camp where I crawled into bed again. Look who rolled in a little shattered at, what was it, 6.30 this morning? Yeah, I didn't feel well. Yeah. Not bad, just a headache and the face was a little bit flush. Somebody's got the man flu. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if he's ever going to survive. These man flus are terrible. <laughs> yeah. Your breath is making things die. Oh! An update on my 2013 Jeep Wrangler RNG, which I left in Oregon at the end of last year for a new engine. I'm happy to report that the replacement Pentastar is installed, it's been tested, and it's working great. I have the shop up in Oregon taking a look at a few other things, so rest assured RNG isn't sitting behind a chain link fence neglected and growing moss. I'm extremely excited to get the Jeep back, I can't even begin to tell you. It's going to be a little bit yet if all goes according to plan because we still have to drive the Defender from Arizona up to Oregon, and our plan is to take our time, take the scenic route and make an adventure of it. In case you're wondering, I'm not going to do three vehicles. I'm definitely moving back into the Jeep, and when we get to Oregon, I'm either selling this or sending it off for work. Rain in the desert. Keeping an eye on the wind. Yeah. I turned the van around to face into the wind, although I think it's coming from the north now. It was yeah. south, southwest last night. <laughs> That's okay, though. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I believe, Sedona's getting snow. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, you know. Prescott. It, it says we're down Prescott. at Rocky Point, so that's oh. not accurate. What is that? Creosote? Hmm? I think that's creosote. The, the snow? Yeah. Oh. Got a nice little bird bath on top of the Defender today. <laughs> mm. Can you want some steak for dinner? <laughs> it's delicious. It's very red. And from that light. <laughs> Benadryl. Oh. <laughs> After dinner, I'm going to take that and just call it a night. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you'll sleep really well, mm -hmm. get to sleep really early, and then tomorrow will be a new day. Mm -hmm. Editing. That's pretty much it, right? You're all wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Time to edit. I'm going to call that a wrap for the week. I hope you all enjoyed this week's adventure, and just as a reminder, my GPS data is available to Patreon subscribers, and I also have campsites and other points of interest available in my travel shop on the Thatch app. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next week. I'm going to go back into the van and crawl into bed. <laughs>